part of the responsibility for better General Motors products, whether for peace or for war, lies with the General Motors Central Office Engineering staff, and particularly with special product study groups of this staff, which operate under the supervision of the Vice President in charge of engineering, Mr. C.L. McEwen. These product study groups take an important part in the job of practical engineering, the improvements in present products, and in the initial development of new products that might later be considered for manufacture by General Motors Division. In new products, for instance, many engineering problems arise which, in their preliminary stages, are not directly related to the products of any particular General Motors Division. Yet, if a specific division were asked to undertake one of these problems at its own expense, the investigation might finally develop something that should better be manufactured by another division than the one doing this experimental work. To handle such cases, product study groups have been set up to do the preliminary engineering work until such time as it is decided whether the project is practical and desirable for production. Product study groups contain many skilled and specialized engineers, in many instances drawn from the divisions themselves. Of course, like all the GM activities normally concerned with peacetime production, these groups have, for the duration, become part of the war effort. These specialists are available to the divisions for consultations regarding specific problems. Here is how a typical product study problem originates and how a product study group operates to solve this problem. In this particular instance, after studying combat reports and pictures from the battlefront, the Central Office Engineering staff, working in cooperation with officers from the United States Army Ordnance, decide that something should be done to make tanks ride smoother. In the past, tanks bumped all over the place, making it difficult to fire their cannon accurately. These bumps and jars were often so serious that they would cause the tanks to throw their tracks and thus become sitting ducks for whatever enemy happened to be handy. These studies indicate that an improved method of suspension is needed to make the tank a safer and more effective weapon of war. The decision having been made to do something about it, a budget is set up and the job assigned to a product study group familiar with this subject. Since, in this instance, three different GM divisions are producing or planning to produce Army tanks, the product study suspension engineers contact the division engineers whenever necessary to get their ideas and keep them informed about what is going on. In this suspension project, as in many other General Motors wartime projects, GM's peacetime know-how is of immeasurable value. Long years spent in developing improved means of suspension for General Motors cars, trucks, and diesel locomotives have made these particular engineers experts on the various phases of suspension. Thus, if anyone can develop a better means of tank suspension, these would seem to be the men best qualified to do it. Under the supervision of the Vice President in charge of engineering, the group is given the equipment and assistance necessary to do the job. After analyzing the project from every practical angle, they proceed to draw up rough sketches, incorporating a basic principle of tank suspension which they feel might work. These rough sketches are studied and revised until the soundness of the idea is firmly established. Then blueprints are made, showing in detail the scale and workings of each individual part of the unit. Again, everything is checked and, if approved, a rough model is made up. The model is tested under conditions simulating those that must be met by the actual tank. Pictures and graphs are plotted to determine definitely everything that goes on. General Motors engineers want facts, not guesses. Then, if the idea for improving tank suspension still stands, a complete working model is made up. This model, accurate in every detail,
shows the product study engineers what to expect of the real tank when it's built. Again, more tests are made. Nothing is left to chance. The results of these tests are studied by Mr. McEwen and the entire central office engineering staff. While this tank suspension project has been going on, other product study groups have been helping develop and test other products. In product study drafting rooms, improved designs for other war products are being studied and drawn up, scale models built and examined. In product study workshops, new devices and improvements in many old ones are built and tested. Reports are prepared for the benefit of Army Ordnance and Central Office Engineering staff and for the divisions interested in the particular subject. When the project meets the final approval of the Central Office Engineering staff and the Army officials requesting the tests, it's submitted to the GM divisions which manufacture the equipment the Army wishes to improve. In the instance of the tank suspension project, three different GM divisions incorporated the basic suspension principles in the specific tanks they were producing or in new designs being developed for the Army. Before a division incorporates the suspension in its tank, it builds a full-scale model tank and sends it to the General Motors Proving Ground for actual tests similar to those to be met in real combat. Here, at the General Motors Proving Ground, an important activity of the Central Office Engineering staff, peacetime facilities have been adapted to wartime requirements. The Proving Grounds provide facilities not normally available at the divisions for making both performance and durability tests on Army cars and trucks, tanks, guns, and other war products. These tests are specified by Army Ordnance. Here, at the Proving Grounds, several of the divisions maintain their own shops and laboratories so that Proving Grounds and division engineers can work together testing and improving their various products. A brief glance at the divisional activity shows us the constant testing and checking that stand behind such wartime products as Fisher Bodies Medium Tank. Chevrolet's Military Truck. Pontiac's 20 millimeter automatic cannon. Oldsmobile's famous automatic cannon, and Cadillac's outstanding light tank. Now, at last, our tank suspension unit is ready for a real workout. Here we go. Over rough roads, bumps, obstacles, through deep, oozy mud, water, and sand, uphill, and down dale, facing almost every field condition, the tank is given every driving test. Under the careful supervision of product study, division, and proving grounds engineers, every phase of the suspension unit is tested, checked, and tested again. If necessary, further changes in design are made and everything tested all over again until all are satisfied that this tank suspension does the job, that it is the best result that can be obtained. From this beginning, divisional engineering staffs take over. In the testing laboratories and on the proving grounds, finished products are subjected to every conceivable test of performance, safety, and durability. Then, and only then, do division assembly lines swing into production, production for war.
for today, and as long as the need exists, victory is our business.